What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to the Black Ops Cold War Alpha. And today I'll talk about some things that I like about the Alpha that I don't like about the Alpha. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. Uh, the first thing is the new mode, Combined Arms. I feel like it's more enjoyable than Ground War, personally for me, because it's a lot less chaotic. I think Ground War has way too many players in it, but of course those maps are absolutely massive, so I understand the reasoning behind that. But Combined Arms is 12v12. We have two map options, of course, here in the Alpha. I do feel like there's not enough players. <laughs> I know I just said I don't like ground war because it is chaotic. But I feel like instead of 12v12, it probably could be like 16v16, and that would be the max that you would need to go to. But overall, combined arms is very enjoyable. There's just, just times during the map where you feel like you're just kind of out there in no man's land. You really don't see anybody for a while. The other thing I don't really like about combined arms is the fact that the tanks seem to be a bit strong, and you cannot see the tank on the minimap when a player is in the tank so you could be right beside an enemy tank and not know it until they shoot you unless you've heard it uh, i think it needs to pop up on the mini map if they're going to leave them as strong as they are right now i think at least it needs to at least pop up on the mini map so you can know where that tank is at all times kind of like it is in modern warfare's ground war um like i said it's just a lot less chaotic and i think combined arms is very enjoyable and i do like the two maps that we did have available during the alpha uh, also, when it comes to weapons, I, I feel like the weapons are very enjoyable to use. I feel like most of them are balanced for the most part, and some of them feel a, bit, a little bit stronger than others. I've used all the weapons that are available, and personally, the Uzi is my favorite out of everything we have available to use in the Alpha. I do know we're going to get some different weapons when the beta is released, uh, besides what we've seen here in the Alpha, but I feel like most of them you can do well with, no matter really you know what map you're on. It's going to just depend on your play style. If you like to run and gun a sub, of course, if you like to play long range, of course, you want to use an assault rifle, you know, or maybe a marksman rifle or a sniper, that kind of thing. The LMGs are even good, in my opinion. You don't see people using uh, many LMGs if you've been playing a lot, but I really do like the stoner. I think that was a really good LMG. Uh, the RPD is not bad either. I just feel like, in general, the weapon balance is good. Of course, you know, when the game is released, it's going to get to that point where everyone is going to have their favorite weapon. You're going to see, you know, a couple weapons come to the top where everybody has a favorite AR, favorite sub, sniper, whatever the case may be. You're going to see a lot of those weapons being used. But during the alpha, I felt like a lot of it was balanced. And you pretty much could use anything and still do very well. Now, when it comes to snipers, I know a lot of people don't like the snipers. Um, Tony Flame did go on to Twitter saying that they did buff the snipers for this alpha. That way they could nerf them before the beta was released. That way before it was released on all platforms, you know, the second weekend we're going to be able to play cross-platform. And he wanted to see the things that, he said the team needed to see the things that needed to be changed about the snipers. I hope they don't absolutely just annihilate them because, you know, people that like to quick scope, you know, with no auto aim, it seems like right now that everybody can during this alpha. That is because they are very strong. But I do feel like they don't need to be just destroyed. I feel like if you're going to snipe with no, you know, with no aim assist, you know, that is, uh, you should be able to be skilled to do it. I don't think everybody should be able to pick it up and do it. But just in general, know that the snipers will be changed before the beta is released. There's one thing that really annoys me that I could not figure out how to turn off uh, in the settings, even though if you go into the advanced settings, besides, of course, the uh, motion blur coming back on after every round, that is the screen shake. I'm hoping there is an option to get rid of the screen shake because it is absolutely annoying if you get around either a teammate's kill streak, uh, an enemy's kill streak, that screen shake gets crazy at times where you can't even hold your sight still. You're just hitting shots. You know, you can't really hit shots. Your, your sight's kind of bouncing everywhere. I feel like that screen shake needs to have an option where you can turn it off or be toned down because it is very annoying in my opinion. Some other things, of course, that I think are not as good in this game compared to Modern Warfare, and that would be animations. The animations of the weapons look kind of like they always have when it comes to Treyarch games, a little bit more arcadey looking. Uh, Modern Warfare definitely set the bar for animations for the weapons, the way you know your player, your hands look, the, the way the gun looks, just everything about it. Not that they look bad, they just do not look as good as they do in Modern Warfare. And I think that's something that may change, you know, when the, the final game is released, but I'm not sure if they will look as good as Modern Warfare's weapons and animations do. When it comes to animations in game, the Sliding is absolutely insane. Now, I know that there was talks uh, of it being way too strong in, or, you know, you can slide just some crazy distances, slide, cancel, all kind of stuff. And I know there was some talks of, uh, we kind of with the pro players and, and, you know, a lot of the YouTubers at the reveal event saying that the sliding was way too strong. And they said that would be changed. Now, 
I'm not sure exactly if anything was changed during this version we're playing compared to the reveal event. A lot of this may be the same. So the sliding may be fixed now once the beta is released. But I know in this alpha, you can slide and it feels like you slide forever. I know you don't, but you can slide and then jump. You can definitely get the drop on someone very easily through a door or you know around a corner or something like that. So hopefully they're going to look at that sliding mechanic because it is pretty wild. If you're not using it, it's definitely uh, putting you at a disadvantage because that sliding mechanic is very, very strong. Now, I know of a big topic has been skill-based matchmaking. Personally, for me, I played eight hours on the day it was released. I played 10 hours, uh, of course, on Saturday. And I've played a lot of games. Uh, and I have had just a handful where I did not do well. Most all the other games, I've had a 2-plus KD. So I've done you know pretty well, in my opinion. And I just haven't experienced crazy skill-based matchmaking. Now, I have experienced some rounds where it feels like I'm just playing in these really sweaty lobbies. But I do not feel like I'm playing it in, like, just for example, when I play 6v6 in the Cold War Alpha, it does not feel like how, how it is when I play 6v6 in Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare 6v6 maps always seem like I'm playing in a ranked playlist. I know... Call of Duty has always had skill-based matchmaking in it, and one of the developers has even gone on Twitter to say that. Every COD has had skill-based matchmaking, and that is a fact. As he said, of course, on Twitter, they can just tune it differently. You know, some some titles have had a lot higher skill-based matchmaking, kind of turned up. Sometimes it's been turned down. I feel like for, you know, just Team Deathmatch, Dom, that kind of thing, it should be more like just a pub match. You know, it should be not turned up as high. And if you want to have really, you know, crazy skill-based matchmaking. I think there needs to be a ranked playlist for that. I think every COD needs a ranked playlist. That way you can have some really high-tuned skill-based matchmaking. If people want to go in there and play some, you know, really sweaty, close kind of games, game after game, that should be the option. I really like ranked playlists. Just not all CODs have had good ranked playlists, and some CODs have not had one at all. So I feel like if they're going to keep the skill-based matchmaking turned up, hopefully they'll put a ranked playlist in there. And kind of turn it down for public matches. Because I know some people get home from work, just want to hop in, play in, you know, hop in, play with friends for an hour or two. And they don't want to have to play, you know, these games where they have to play their best every single round, every single kill, uh, you know, to be able to win. That does get kind of annoying. When it comes to the visuals, it does look like a Treyarch game. It's still bright. It is still kind of vibrant. But at times, it still looks like uh, kind of the way Modern Warfare looks. You can get into those situations where enemies... You can't really pick them out. You can't see them at distances. I feel like it's better than Modern Warfare, but at the same time, it's almost like they mixed a, a Treyarch game and a the way Modern Warfare looks a little bit. It's just not quite as bright and vibrant as some uh, Treyarch games have been in the past. I'm sure some people will be happy with that because they don't like that cartoony, arcadey kind of look. But as overall, I think the visuals are not bad. I'm kind of curious to see what the graphics are going to look like when the game is released because I think Modern Warfare definitely set the bar way high for graphics in, a, a, in any Call of Duty game, really. Uh, one thing that I really like is 6v6 feels like it's back. 6v6 feels like it's a lot of fun. I've really enjoyed playing 6v6. I've really enjoyed playing Combined Arms. When it comes to Modern Warfare, I feel like a lot of people don't play 6v6. They play a lot of Ground War. They play a lot of Warzone. And I'm a big 6v6 fan. I, that's what I've played ever since Call of Duty 2 and I feel like it's back this year uh, I've always enjoyed 6v6 in Treyarch games hopefully a lot of the maps will be enjoyable like I said everything that's been in the alpha so far map wise I have really liked a few other things that I want to touch on quickly would be um, of course it feels like I I'm playing Black Ops 1 kind of mixed with Black Ops 2 which is a good thing and also a bad thing because I think a lot of people are going to feel like this game is going back in time graphic wise movement wise animation wise some things I've touched on but it, it's kind of that nostalgic feel it does feel like I'm playing Black Ops 1 it does feel like I'm playing Black Ops 2 but after playing Modern Warfare for a year it does kind of feel, I understand why people say it feels like they're going back. It's not like they were moving forward with the game. It feels like kind of going back to some of those older style Call of Duties, the way it looks, the way it moves. That can be, like I said, couldn't be good for some people. can be bad. just kind of depends on what your feelings are towards graphics and animations and movement and that kind of thing. One thing that kind of goes along with that is weapon sound. The weapons are sound nowhere near as good as they do in Modern Warfare. Weapons in Modern Warfare sound like real weapons. They're very loud. That is one thing I don't like about Modern Warfare, even though it sounds amazing. 
it is so hard to hear anything going on in Modern Warfare. That game is extremely loud. Of course, if you own Astros or any kind of nice headset, you're going to know what I'm talking about. It will absolutely make your ears bleed. If you play on the normal level, you would play Call of Duty on. When it comes to the Black Ops Cold War Alpha, the weapons sound like a Treyarch game. You know, they sound kind of arcadey, kind of toned down, which is good for gameplay because you can hear footsteps, you can hear, you know, kill streaks coming in, whatever the case may be. But for realism, it's definitely not as good as it is in Modern Warfare. The one thing that I really liked was map boating was back. Um, of course, this should help out with the skill-based matchmaking. It's in some ways, because if you get in a really good lobby where you're absolutely dominating, as long as the other people don't leave, you can stay in that lobby by just, you know, voting for the next map. It's not like Modern Warfare where you go from game to game and it finds a new lobby every time. I know that's not always the case in Modern Warfare, but majority of the time you're going to be put in a new lobby after you, you know, complete one round if you're playing 6v6, for example. I, I like that they put the map voting system back in. It's going to be, I'm going to be curious to see how many maps are going to be available when the game drops. Of course, we're going to have to have maps for 6v6. You're going to have to have maps for combined arms, that kind of thing. Hopefully, we'll have a good map pool. And that way, you know, you can vote for the maps you like. You know, if you want to play something or you don't want to play something, at least you have that option. That was not available in Modern Warfare, and that was kind of disappointing in my opinion. And the last thing I want to talk about, or the last thing I really want to touch on, is the settings. I'm sure the settings are probably going to change when the full game and the beta is released. Hopefully they'll change in the beta. I feel like the settings for Modern Warfare definitely stepped it up, it kind of compared to any other Call of Duty game. There's lots of in-depth settings in that, in that game. You know, there's lots of in-depth uh, in options in Modern Warfare. And I feel like this alpha did not have as many options. Now, like I said, it could just, it could just be because it is the alpha. But overall, I'm hoping that we get more more in-depth setting options because it just feels almost like an older COD game from five, six years ago compared to what we got, of course, in Modern Warfare. Kind of the same thing with the gunsmith. The gunsmith does not feel as crisp and, and clean and, and cool as it did in Modern Warfare here in the Black Ops Cold War Alpha. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you played the alpha. Do you like it? Do you not? Are you looking forward to the beta? I know I am. I've had a good time playing for the most part, besides the few things that I mentioned that I didn't like. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.